Well, good afternoon and welcome to pre-training for the Menu Hacking Live Challenge, which is starting on Tuesday. So today it's a bit of pre-training. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Daniel and I'm with uh, Menu Hacking Live. And today I'll be going over uh, an online lab, lab app actually that I used uh, when I did my journey a few years back to track my food, to track my weight and also fitness levels and so on. It's a free uh, app software program online called Chronometer. So uh, let me share my screen and I'll do a quick demo. I'll go over the features I used, uh, what I did not use, what I liked and so on and so forth. And we'll go over the numbers. I've kept them uh, on there uh, just for this and to go back and revisit once in a while. So all right, here we are on the um, on the website chronometer.com. It's free to use. They have a pro option I've never used. Um, and what it allows us to do is first you have your days. Uh, so you have your full calendar so you can check go back in the past and all that. You can even plan your food. So you could go on the 20th and 21st, 22nd, and start adding in your food. We'll go over that, how it's done in a few minutes. Uh, let's go back to the 17th. Uh, then you have your trends. As you can see here, you got the gold. You got all kinds of features. I never needed it. Um, they have uh, plans, apps, settings, all kinds of fun stuff in there. So when you do have the free account, you'll see ads all over the place. It's okay. You can ignore them. So this is uh, the um, my journey from October 1st, 2018. And I stopped tracking on this October 6, 2019. So I was at what 174.6 there. Today, I'm sitting at about 167. 168 it varies from day to day but it's pretty good i'm happy there and this here you could see everything this week i was on vacation and i was in march as you can see uh march what was this uh february 19th to february 26th so if we go february 19th to the 28th so that was uh, about a pound difference, but it was quickly gone. So it's not like I had lost a lot of weight. When I was on vacation, I ate mostly meat. Uh, the carbs I ate were, uh, well, I drank a lot of carbs, drank a lot of beer there, but that's okay. And when we'll go through it, you'll see that here, I was very strict in carbs. You can see that inside the window. You can see it in blue too. Um, and at the end, I didn't care much. I was doing well and I was eating sometimes 10, sometimes 50, sometimes close to 100 carbs, grams of carbs per day. So I managed to get these results not being overly strict on keto. Um, I, I was very strict here, but then I realized I could eat my favorite food. Even if it was a little higher in carbs, I ate less. And as you can see here, total calories. I never counted calories. I just ate till I was hungry, you know, no more, uh, not hungry anymore. And it helped me with that. So, so this is the chart. Uh, again, there was a full month and a half where it moved sideways. I didn't care because I was losing fat and the scale I had was able to monitor the, uh, the fat content. So if you want to know more about that, I'll have a link below this, uh, this video for a scale that you can use that tracks fat as well as um, the different other things like weight and water weight and stuff like that. All right, so now let's go to uh, the diary every day. So before I went on my uh, on low carb, I would be eating this would be a, um, not maybe a typical day, but I put a, a day there that would have been normal. Uh, not the worst, not the best, just something normal. Uh, orange juice, I used to drink a lot of that. And then I would, you know, toast with butter, two slices, a bowl of uh, Kellogg's Vector cereal and skim milk. So that was my breakfast a lot of times. Then for lunch, I would often eat a Subway 
and they have the six inch. I'd never do a six inch. It was always a full 12 inch sub. Maybe sometimes I put a bag of chips in there and then I ate Coke. Uh, not diet, I didn't like the stuff, so I'd have it Coke, but as you can see, it's one a day, so nothing wrong with there. And then dinner, let's say I'm going to Olive Garden, two uh, breadstick, you know it's more than two, but I just put two there just for the heck of it. Uh, house salad with dressing, spaghetti with meat sauce, then a bit of tiramisu for dessert, and then one beer low carb. So if we look at the entire day, it's 3,000 calories. I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's it, 3,000 calories, um, only 2,000 burns. So yeah, massive, massive overly budget. And if we look here at the carb count, 420 grams of carbs. So for people who uh, don't know how to measure carbs, how many carbs is in a teaspoon and so on, there's four grams of sugar per teaspoon. So here, that's 105 teaspoons of sugar in a day. I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a can of Coke, a beer, and orange juice to drink, two coffee. My coffee is coffee with cream. There's no, um, there's no carbs in there, heavy cream. So it's not the coffee. The orange juice is uh, six teaspoons of sugar and the Coke is uh, eight. So those two there, the low carb beer is two. So if you wanna drink something low carb, uh, low carb beer is something better than Coke or orange juice. Uh, not as good as bubbly, did I put bubbly on there? Not today, uh, you'll see in tomorrow uh, in what I eat now compared to that. So 105 teaspoons of sugar. So I was overweight, uh, borderline diabetic, sick, and in pain. And my doctor told me to eat less of this. Even if I cut this in half, I'm still looking at 200 grams of carbs just by cutting portions because, or let's remove the Coke, right? And we'll remove the beer. So let's say here, according to some people, this is a good diet. Orange juice, toast, cereal and milk, a sandwich with no mayo. Uh, I'll, let's remove the chips. And then we have breadsticks, house salad, spaghetti and all that. We're still looking at 365 grams of sugar. That's a lot. And that's why we're obese. So if you're looking at hacking your menu, here is my um, diet today. So I had two morning coffee, eggs, three, four links of uh, sausage. Tonight I'm gonna have uh, 12 chicken wings with asparagus and I'll drink bubbly twice. Now my total sugar count for the day is 5.9 grams of carbs. So not even uh, two teaspoons. And it's gonna be enough food for me. I won't have to, uh, actually, no, let's add a bag of chips because I like chips once in a while. So I'll add a slice. So as you can see, I'm down up to 20 grams of carbs if I had potato chips. That's my weakness. And I do this every day and I don't, lose, I don't gain weight anymore and I'm happy. So you have your trends and you have your food. And how do you add your food is, uh, let's go to food right here because you can create your own recipes. Uh, this is the one I, I did for a long time. I called it the afternoon salad. And it was basically a way for me to um, break fast so I, I wouldn't eat in the morning. And I would do the big salad. So bacon, avocado, cheddar, uh, uh, oil and vinegar dressing. I put in walnuts and a bit of spring mix in there. So I did that a lot, uh, it was very good. And it had 18 grams of carbs minus fiber, so 10 grams of carb net uh, with a bit of sugar in there. Not too bad, and it came I think from um, maybe this, I don't know. So you could put your own recipe, fat head pizza dough, and you get all your nutrition facts here on the right. So here you see that even fat head dough has got some carbs in it. Uh, breakfast salad, another salad. 
But I want to put eggs in there. Uh, no baked cheesecake, a little dessert I did myself, almond flour. So you can put all of those. And when you put it in your diary, you can uh, go with, you add food. You can go with your favorites, common foods, supplements. So if you're doing uh, whey protein or monster energy drinks or stuff like that, then you have your brands, Bertoli, Newman's, Kellogg's, Coca-Cola, Snickers. You'll find everything. So if you start looking here and you go in Olive Garden, let's say, uh, it will show up in the brands. Or if we go in restaurants, Olive Garden, all the stuff there. Um, Sonic, it's all here. So all your restaurants are here. You can create your own customs. Then you add them here. Restaurants, brands, uh, common food is what you know, what's common for Sonic or anything like that. My favorite one. I did liver worse for a while because I thought I needed liver. I don't eat, I eat that anymore. I don't like it. So now I only eat my favorite foods and I keep it low carb and I'm really happy. You can add exercise uh, if you're doing that to track everything. Biometric, this is where you change your weight. Um, I don't think your height will change much, but then you can do your uh, heart rate if you have that. If you have a blood pressure monitor, you can do your body fat. You can do your waist size, cholesterol. You can add all of those. So if you're really, um, you know, you want to be really tight on tracking everything, you can use the, uh, the, the goal feature, track everything. And in the settings, I think you can add uh, different apps. There's a place for that. Oh, devices. So you can add different devices you, you have uh, to this. So the way you do this, if you want to use that, is every day you just put your food. And like tomorrow, I'll know I'll start with eggs. So I, I can start my day with the, saying, okay, I'm going to have three eggs tomorrow. And depending on what I eat today, um, that's going to be my side for tomorrow. So if I have steak tonight, I'll put uh, half a steak in there because I love to eat steak and eggs and put everything that I know I'm going to eat. So if I were doing my challenge again, I would plan every single week, every single day. Uh, I would put my meals and then I would work the plan. So that's how it works. Again, it's at chronometer.com. Um, it's free to use. It works on the mobile device. It works on the tablet. It works on the on a tablet and all that. Uh, you got the gold and the pro, and you can go for for a year. Or again, I've not tried it. This is not an affiliate link, so I don't have any um, say on what you do. So and everything you eat has basically this as far as energy, protein, net carbs, and fat. And if you just press on one, you get just that item. So right now we're doing asparagus. So asparagus has got sugar in it, uh, a teaspoon in 12 spears. So that's one thing that people tend to forget is all sugar come from plants, all. Um, so whether it's asparagus or an apple, let's put it in the apple. And I like to, to know uh, apple fresh with skin doesn't matter which one we'll do a medium one and an apple has you know some carbs in it and the way I like to do it instead of doing one medium apple I'm gonna do it in grams and that way you, you get to know what it is as far as percentage of of some food right so if you look at a an apple on 100 grams, it's got 10 grams of carbs. So that means it's got 10% of sugar. So a an apple is 10% sugar. And if we compare that to asparagus, we'll put that into grams as well. 100. So asparagus is 2% sugar and an apple is 10% sugar. And if we do something else, let's do sugar, granulate it, and we're going to do 100 grams of that too. And then we see that 100 grams of sugar is 100% sugar. Makes sense, right? 
So that's how you know how much sugar there is in something. So let's do something pizza dough. Because a lot of people miss pizza. And they try to do a pizza with a cauliflower cross or something else like that. So here you have pizza dough, 100 grams. Let's put that there. And as we can see, pizza dough is 40% sugar. So it doesn't matter what you replace it with. It's always going to taste awful because pizza dough is good because it's 40% it's sugar. That's why we like it so much. It's not instantly sweet. It's not the sweet sweet. It's a starchy sweet. And our brains love it. So that's why we miss pizza. And when we do pizza with cauliflower or chicken crust or fathead dough or anything else, we go from 40% to five percent or something and it's it doesn't it doesn't work in our brains our brains doesn't like it uh same with bread doing bread with low carb food items it's we don't get the same pleasure out of it same with pasta doing uh, zucchini noodles for pasta uh, people do that once or twice and the zero carb uh cognac flour pasta and all that i've had that a few times doesn't work so I'd rather have something I like that I really like steaks chops wings uh, stews chili than to have something I don't really like um, like a cauliflower crust pizza now to do a pizza bowl where I have the cheese the pepperoni the sauce the mushrooms the hot peppers without the crust is good because I don't have to contend with a crust I don't like so I just eat something that to me is good tastes good and you know we, we skip the cake part of the pizza so that's uh, about it for this if there's any question uh, please um, leave a comment below I'll answer all the uh, the questions there um, again being able now to eat my favorite foods is what keeps me sane, keeps me on track, keeps me from cheating, and I can have literally anything I want, and funny enough, I don't want cake, I don't want um, chocolate bars, I don't want ice cream, I don't want that, I want the food I like. Now, will I, have, will I splurge or will I cheat? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, I like chips, I'll have that, and <clears throat> at this point, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is, I know I have to stay lowish in carbs, and I'll never ever have to worry about uh, gaining weight ever again. So I'm at my ideal weight. I'm happy, and this is why I'm um, sharing this with you. I want you to be there. I want you to be able to lose all the weight, keep it off by living, quote unquote, a normal life, and you can do whatever you want when you're there because as long as you know that it can be dangerous to overdo sugar you can do sugar and because you can't escape it if you you know you're doing vegetables you're eating sugar uh, whether it's broccoli or cauliflower cabbage lettuce so it's a mix if you want to lose weight cut the carbs if you want to lose weight fast cut a lot of carbs if you want to go faster start fasting Anyway, I'm rambling on. It's, a, it's been a long uh, video so far. If you have any questions, put them below. I'll reply as soon as possible. If you're still watching, love you, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.